All right, this back to school season filled with tension for some families in Somerville. Remember, hundreds of kids are at a new school building after their old one was deemed too dangerous to be in. As WBZ's Nick Giovanni shows us, not everyone is so sure the new option is any safer. It was the first day of school filled with mixed emotions for families dropping off their students at the Edgerly in Somerville Wednesday morning. It's been extremely, you know, um, anxious. I'm not happy at all about it. I'm not happy at all about it. Some parents uneasy about sending their kids into the school that looked more like a hazmat scene less than two weeks ago with tarps and tape surrounding parts of the building after asbestos was found in its exterior window caulking. It was a race against the clock for restoration crews to complete the work in time for classes to start on time. The building is safe. We would not have opened it up. We're really excited to be here. I don't trust what the city of Somerville has done with this school. It's, it's just unacceptable in my eyes. Nearly 400 kids, grades 1 through 8, were moved to the Edgerly for this academic year in response to a piece of concrete falling from the ceiling of their original school, the Winter Hill Community School. One of the priorities for the community was to keep the community together, and we, you know, we've done that. I actually was displaced here when the new high school was built, so I had a classroom here. And what they've done in the short period of time to get the school, I feel very confident that the school is safe, that and I actually am really happy he's here. And he gets to stay with his community, because that's a huge thing. And the question some teachers as well as parents had this morning, what's the plan beyond this school year as it relates to the old Winter Hill building? Mayor Ballantyne told us they are still in the process of evaluating that. Reporting in Somerville, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.